Hello guys, welcome back! In today's video I'm gonna show you how to create a really simple, really casual, staying at home makeup look. So if you are interested how to create this simple glam makeup look, then please keep on watching! Okay, so first of all I'm gonna prime my face. Today I'm going to use this cream, moisturizer cream from Estee Lauder. I love this cream. This moisturizer cream is, is so nice and is so so good even under makeup and the smell is like cucumber. Oh I love it. <laughs> it's like I want to eat it. It's so nice and it's so fresh like fresh cucumber. Just make sure you massage into your skin very well. For foundation, I'm going today with this Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Foundation in shade 190. Just dip, 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 dip. This is a soft matte um, longwear foundation and I love the coverage. Also, I like to bring down the foundation on my neck. I don't like to look like I have a mask on my face. I think I need more coverage um, because I have lots of spots on my face. One came out and then he got the other friends as well so whatever. <laughs> I need more coverage. So I'm going to hide my uh, breakouts on my forehead and on my face as well. My skin is breaking out like crazy, especially on my forehead. Okay, so the next thing what I'm gonna do, I'm going to apply some concealer under my eye as well. For concealer under eye, I like to use this brush from Sigma and this is the 142 concealer buffer. I find it really easy to apply the concealer moving on to the brows uh, I'm gonna be using today this um, brow with pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills so it's gonna kind of just fill it And it will fill in any gaps what I have. This is the difference between the two eyebrows. I'm going to brush through with this little tiny brush head. I'm done with my eyebrows, but I'm gonna use this today on my eyebrows and this is the clear brow gear from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this guy so much because I just so easy to apply it and the hair is gonna stay in place. They are not gonna move. <laughs> Now I'm going to take some foundation what I used before yeah. with this brush from Sigma, this is the E15 uh, flat brush. I'm going to clean up the tail of my brow. Now I'm going to use some concealer on my eyeshadow as well. Because right now I don't have uh, eyeshadow primer so if you have you can go ahead and use your primer. I love to use my concealer on my eyeshadow. I love how the concealer gives a really nice base for the eyeshadow. 
Now I'm going to set my concealer on my eyeshadow. I'm using this Too Faced Natural Nudes um, palette. And I'm going to use this color here, the first color. If you have creases here, make sure it's not creasing before you apply the, the product. And I'm gonna use this color here. And using circular motions, I start to blending it into my crease this is a really really pretty transition color basically we're starting off with light colors and then we're gonna move on with darker colors now I changed for this brush this is from Sigma and this is the E25 blending brush now using this color from the palette, this is called Cocoa. This is a little bit more depth, more darker and I'm gonna apply in my crease. I'm trying to keep this shade lower than the other shade that I used before. And I'm just building up this color into my crease. Now I changed back my brush for the E40 Sigma brush. I'm not adding any additional color. Now I'm just going to blend everything together with circular motions. It just adds a very nice definition to my crease. For my outer corner, I'm gonna be using even a darker color. That's gonna be this color here, the last one. And this is called Truffle. And I'm going to use the same brush, the E25 brush from Sigma. And I'm going to apply just in my crease. You see how I'm dragging it over to my um, eyebrow tail? That's because I want to get that extended uh, eye shade. Now I'm going back to the first uh, fluffy brush and I'm going to blend everything together. Also extended uh, eyeshadow like this is making the eyes look bigger and for those of you who have hooded eyes, it's gonna look more lifted and makes them look bigger. For some sparkle today I'm gonna be using this um, this MAC palette and I'm gonna be using this color here. I'm gonna be using my fingers. <laughs> and if I apply more it's gonna be even more intense. And again with my fluffy brush, I'm gonna diffuse the edges. Very, very carefully, very, very gently. And I will also add some more shimmers on this part using this glitter gauze from NYX. So just make sure you just Dots, 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 dots. On the other eye, the same thing. And also make sure when you when you apply this um, sparkly um, eyeshadow liquid, you just point, point. Because I tried out um, yesterday, like this and it didn't came out nice it came off all the eyeshadow so it's, it's best just to apply this liquid like in dots 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 so this is the final result for my eyes i'm going to create a little wing concealer and with this flat brush I just cleaned up the edge so it looks more defined more more clean and after that I just take care of my lashes
for contour I'm gonna go to David Elf and I'm using this color here as you can see I'm using this color almost all the time <laughs> I like to apply here on the sides and also on my forehead as well and also I'm going to apply my setting powder by Rihanna and this is shade banana also I'm going to add some highlight and blush as well using this beautiful Sigma palette look at these colors Look at that highlight. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And for blush, I'm gonna be using this brush from Sigma and this is the F10 blush brush. So one more advice, if you feel like this is too much, the highlighter, you can always take off with your uh, beauty blender. So just with that dab motion. Now back to the eyes. I took this uh, little small smudging brush from Sigma and this is the E21. And going back to the um, eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna be taking this color here and I'm going to smudge on my lower lash line just on the half lower lash line I'm gonna be using this um, highlighter for my inner corner And for lipstick, today I'm gonna go with MAC in shade Velvet Teddy. I think that's it for today's video. I really hope guys you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and don't forget to hit that little ring bell button next to it so this way you can be notified every time when I'm uploading a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook and of course you can check out my other videos. I'm gonna link it here. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!